There is still no Speaker of the House. Let's head to Washington now. Take a live look at Capitol Hill. The House will vote on a Speaker. It's entering its second day after Kevin McCarthy failed to get a majority three times yesterday. It hasn't happened in 100 years. The last time this happened, they went to, I believe, nine ballots. So will this go that far or does this get wrapped up today? The House will be back in session at noon Eastern time. So that's when you'll see votes. And here's what some Congress members had to say about the day's historical events. You should never be concerned about actually voting. That's what the people send us here to do. Now, like I said, a little bit down there, we're going to figure this out because we're big boys and girls. And once we get it done, then we're going to move on as we get business. McCarthy will get there. Like, he's, he's going to get there. We will not vote for anyone else but McCarthy. These people think they're stubborn. We're more stubborn because we're, we're standing for principle. They're standing for personal notoriety. We are standing for principle. We will go longer. Kevin McCarthy will become speaker. So the real question is what's the consequences for those no names? Interestingly enough, over the 14 years that he's been in leadership, he's done almost virtually nothing to change it. And under pressure from a group of members who have said that we're not all, any longer going to accept the status quo, we have been able to force to force some rules changes to make things better. Even I'm not old enough to remember when this happened, uh, you know, 100 years ago. So uh, uh, I don't think we have any parameter, but I'm pretty convinced that uh, Kevin's uh, support is extremely solid. And I think it's become personal for those members as well. It's like you're trying to blackmail all of us. So obviously a lot of opinions there. And then here's a major one. Former President Donald Trump taking the truth social to say in part, quote, it's time, it's now time for all of our great Republican House members to vote for Kevin, close the deal, take the victory, and watch crazy Nancy Pelosi fly back home to a very broken California. Kevin McCarthy will do a good job and maybe even a great job. Just watch. Again, that from the former president uh, essentially endorsing their Kevin McCarthy for speaker. Logan Raddick live on Capitol Hill, a day uh, on the day of another round of voting. Good morning, Logan. Sean, good morning, and there's no indication that those Republicans are actually going to listen to former President Donald Trump, because keep in mind, yesterday, Jim Jordan nominated Kevin McCarthy for Speaker of the House, and he was telling his fellow Republicans to vote for McCarthy, but still 20 Republicans ended up saying the name of Jim Jordan, uh, which led to McCarthy not being able to get those 218 votes he needs to be Speaker of the House. Keep in mind that this has been a fight that's been brewing for about seven years now. Kevin McCarthy threw his hat in the ring to be Speaker of the House, in 2015, but he did not have enough support then. Uh, met by opposition from the Freedom Caucus and some of these same members like Andy Harris that you're seeing uh vote against McCarthy this time around. So uh, there is a pretty high likelihood at this point in time that McCarthy may have to back out. Uh, his team is saying that he's going to stay in this fight uh, through however many ballots is needed for him to become Speaker of the House. Uh, but those Republican holdouts are showing no signs of budging. But this is what McCarthy told supporters about why he's digging in and staying in this fight. I, I have the record for the longest speech ever on the floor. I don't have a problem getting a record for the most votes for speaker, too. Now, the first two times around, 19 Republicans voted for somebody other than McCarthy. But the third time around, Byron Donalds joined that group. And this is why he voted for Jim Jordan. Here's what he told me. Well, first, I think Jim will make a tremendous speaker of the House. I think he has all the capabilities to do that job and, and frankly, lead our conference in a time where we have an administration that must be held accountable. We have serious negotiations on debt ceiling and spending coming up, um, which, you know, in my view, we need to start doing it from a much more conservative posture. Um, and so I think he would do a great job. I think the second piece of this is that at this point, it's clear uh, Kevin McCarthy doesn't have the votes. And that, that doesn't give me joy. I'm not a anti-Kevin guy, but he doesn't have them. And so we have to find who does. And so I'm interested in seeing who can get us there and lead our conference the way it needs to be led so we can actually get America back on track. 
And that's something you could hear from more Republicans today. The realization that Kevin McCarthy is struggling to get those 218 votes and that maybe it's time to finally find a consensus candidate, whether it be a Steve Scalise or maybe even Byron Donald himself. He's not ruling out the fact that he might jump in uh, if he'd be asked to run for speaker by some of his fellow members. But at the same time, it's important to keep in mind that the House is virtually paralyzed until there's a speaker of the House. There's no business being conducted right now. James Comer, who would be leading the oversight committee in this new Congress, is saying that they can't open up any investigations that they want to open up until there is a Speaker of the House. So there is some sort of a time crunch for this fight. Also, these members have their families in town. There was no swearing in ceremony today. But what we do know is that these 19 to 20 holdouts are likely not going to budge, even with uh, nothing going on right now in the House until there becomes a Speaker. And it takes a while to make it through every congressional member to cast their vote so we could be here for hours, maybe days. Logan Raddick, live on Capitol Hill with the very latest. Logan, thank you very much. I think it was interesting to point out, uh, Sean, the House is paralyzed, right? You can't swear in new members. You can't form committees. You can't adopt some new rules. You cannot pass legislation. You can't conduct those investigations. So a big question is, what's going to happen next, and how much of this delay could impact the Republicans' priorities? Yeah, I mean, that's the big point. No one's been sworn in. So that's a major holdup in itself. Nothing can get done. And as Logan was pointing out, none of these committees can be formed. Um, uh, essentially, they're in, in, in the House. Another point to point out, uh, Hakeem Jeffries, the Democrat, who would be the minority uh, leader, has every Democrat has coalesced around him each and every time the vote happened. And from a PR standpoint, from a viewer, a voter perspective, all you're going to get are bad headlines for Republicans. Chaos in the Republican Party here, uh, organization in the Democratic Party in, in terms of what is happening there in the House. They don't know who the speaker is going to be. Um, and it hasn't happened in 100 years like this. You're already going on your fourth ballot. We talked about this yesterday. I, I predicted this would be done by the second ballot. And then this would be a done deal. They went to three, still couldn't get it done. Then you hear talks about it may be an, another, another name brought up, like Steve Scalise, et cetera. But either way, Kevin McCarthy has made it very abundantly clear he's not backing down. So it could be, again, an interesting day. He's got to get to 218. Does he do it? Uh, we'll bring the results to you live. Yeah, and at the end of the third vote yesterday, Donald Trump hadn't weighed in again, right? Yeah, he had previously moment. endorsed Kevin McCarthy, but we got news this morning again. He's saying, vote for Kevin. We're going to wait and see how those 20 or so Republicans end up voting today, again, at noon. Stay tuned to, for that.